Welcome to the video guys, and thanks for stopping by. I hope you're all sufficiently moist and washing behind your ears. Because, you know, hygiene. For many years now, fans have been crying out for an Assassin's Creed game based in Japan. It was, however, beaten by Ghost of Tsushima, which won the Best Game Award of 2020. A Player's Choice Award, I think it was called. It just goes to show that you should rarely listen to your audience if you want an award. It's such a shame Ubisoft hasn't listened to its audience, as this game is guaranteed to sell like a high-class hooker in Vegas. For any fans of the series, maybe you can agree that the Assassin's Creed engine and storyline are perfect for a Japan setting like a custom cream is for breakfast. In this video, I want to explain why I think Japan is one of the best possible locations for the next Assassin's Creed and why it has to happen. I would also like to explain why reg regular exfoliation will guarantee a successful sex life and relationship. So for me, the idea of Japan, uh, or a Japan setting, came about when I was playing Assassin's Creed Unity, and I spotted the katana in the shops. So after saving up enough money and doing honest work, <clears throat> I managed to get my hands on this Japanese sword that made a short work of my enemies, and of course, drain my bank account. It looked cool and performed well, just like my stepsister. I then had this image in my head of temples, Samurai, ninjas, cherry blossoms, and octopus tentacle porn for some reason. And it hit me like a wet blanket. Japan would be the perfect scene for an Assassin's Creed game. It would open up so many options. For example, the ninjas could be on the side of the assassins and the samurai on the side of the Templars. And it goes without saying, the fighting in Assassin's Creed would fit perfectly with the feudal era of Japan. A couple of years ago, I read that the team thought that a Japan setting would be boring, and after the success of Ghost of Tsushima, I really think they've just changed their mind. After all, it doesn't really matter what the developers think or want, what matters is what we want. Can you imagine a world where game developers listen to the consumers and take note of what we actually want? No, me neither but maybe the success of another game can make that happen. As most of you know, swordplay is very famous in Japan and has a long history of war amongst themselves. More specifically, different samurai clans that fought for power and territories. I live in Japan myself and can see so much potential, uh, when it, whether it's beautiful scenery, weapons, history, culture, and so on. If we go back and look at Ghost of Tsushima, we can see how a game, even though quite simple in its design, was successful. And I honestly believe a lot of this was because of its setting. That's why it was successful. If the developers of Assassin's Creed utilize this setting, we are in for a real treat. Depending on what period it is, we could also see guns in the game. Muskets, for example, would be an incredibly moist thing to use. As for characters, I would like to see them switch it up by giving us multiple characters to play as, or at least let us make our own character from scratch. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And as for exfoliation, smooth skin guarantees attraction from the opposite sex, which will guarantee a healthy yet slightly controversial relationship with your mother. Thanks for watching guys, and remember to keep it 